Elephants do not have a home here anymore at all in the wild. We have 3,200 wild elephants. And then we have like 3,800 domesticated. We're in the middle of the forest, more northern Thailand. Karen people live alongside elephants. This is something that ancestrally have been doing for thousands of years. Um, normally, I am like Karen people. Karen people. Nationality, the Thai, we end is the Karen. <laughs> like you become a partner yeah, for yes. life with the elephant. Keep her like their parent, you know. They feel comfortable next to you. You train them not only for interaction with guests, no. but also veterinary care. Yes, it's same like you have a dog, you know. You love them, you know. It's same this elephant. And you put you put your hand in her mouth, she gets comfortable. No, oh, hand is the hosaki my thumb. No, you're never never afraid in this position. Yeah, I tried her already, you know, it's the raise her up. Uh -huh. Yeah, I trust her a lot. Because natural elephant, when they get like, worry or like, they're gonna, sometimes they do quick mo movement. <laughs> oh, I got slapped oh, in yeah. the face by an ear. Booty booty. Good morning. Good morning, folks. Welcome. Uh, we're in the middle of the forest here, somewhere in northern Thailand, in the territory of the Karen Hill tribes of Thailand. You can see this beautiful view right now. I'm in a place called the Elephant Freedom Village. So, yeah, welcome. This is the Elephant Freedom Village. We're making a really special video today. We're going to be discussing and exploring the way that these Karen people live alongside elephants. This morning we're just sitting down having some freshly brewed coffee. With this beautiful view in preparation for the activities that we're going to be exploring today. Just the last 24 hours we've just been getting to know the locals here. It's been super cool. And uh, I'm going to introduce you guys in a bit the people who actually run this place. And we'll be talking about their relationship with elephants. It's a very, very interesting story. I'm super, super excited to dive into it. So in step one of understanding how Karens live alongside elephants here in the Northern Hill Tribes, we are going to experience what a sort of day tour made for tourists is like with this tribe. This is something that ancestrally have been doing for thousands of years, but they've now transitioned this into something that's accessible for tourists. The true thing of local culture, you know, the more people they don't know understand, you know, and they like, like the local people always got attacked from the people, you know, they don't know. Yes. And then you had to know the thing is the, Normally in Thailand, we have two, 3,200 wild elephants. Mm. Yes. And then we have like 3,800 domesticated. Domesticated elephant, every elephant they have microchip and then they're gonna pass down to generation to generation. Because they think the world develop. When you have big animal, when the world change, you have to adapt yourself, you know? Yeah, because like life, more people like foreign. They say like before, like we had second warfare. That time in the Great Britain, Corona of Myanmar, Thai Roman Balande power work with the Great Britain. And then like people like elephant work in the industry, 40,000 elephants. Mm -hmm. My parent got passed out from the, my grandmother, you know, like my grandparent about the passed out many generations. 
Yes. After I finish like the half high school, I would like to be Muay Thai fighter because I did at the school, you know. I, I fight a lot. I bought to be for fighter, not the lover. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then like the, I go back to my home it uh, because my parents didn't have money. And then like I spoke with them. I would like to continue fight, but they not allow because they said like cannot go to hurt yourself, you know. And they like they let me go to work with the elephant. Beginning I work with elephant, follow my uncle. I don't know anything, you know. People use elephant too much. Normally you can ride elephant is okay. It doesn't matter. But the more people work behind their elephant keeper, they are local he try people, you know. You elephant medication, when you elephant break fruit tree or farmer land, you have to pay by yourself. They will let your elephant to the off. When your elephant got shaped by the roof, even the best so you know let the work, they not pay you any money. You know, that thing and then every morning you have to wake up in the early. But now it's much better. You know, it's wake up in the morning, it's the prepare your elephant healthy check before you let the work. They're gonna let us elephant start work at this about like the egg seven, some of the is in the seven. And then I move to here is the the thing is the I would like to like the keep my culture. And second thing, would like to protect my culture, like solely elephant history or like current history. And then they make like the fundraiser or like donation, they make so many drama. We do the good thing, they never explain to people, you know. Yes. And then another thing, I'm scared like one day elephant gonna belong of the every so many people, hall, you know. Because you're from the hill tribe, you have a lot of spare to them. I don't want to like real business and talk bad about people, you know. I would like to. For I feeling if you would like to make balance, you know, either like would like to be the voice for elephant keeper. Elephant keeper, they are people work behind. You know, they work work very hard and they not got very much salary. But people always talk bad about them. They say like they have like hoop knife, some stuff like the cruel elephant. But normally not like that. You know, people saw like like the century like foundation and then they say no hook, no chain, no anything. But the more they never get close to elephant, they were on the social media on the screen, you know. But people work with the elephant, work with the elephant. They always got hurt, attack or kill. They never explain tell people about that thing, you know. Now if the uh, from the background, I would like to let you know we have hook or knife because I would like to keep every elephant, you know. In Thailand now, they say no hook, no chain, no training. They do too much business as well. It thing like the. They don't want people to do hook or knife, but they, they only keep only the female elephant. Female elephant more nicer, friendly. But male, they feeling some elephant feeling like gangster, yakuza, you know, a lot of energy. And they're like, when you work with them, you have to have hook or knife. We have hook or knife to engage or like the, mm -hmm. to save, you know, either. We know which part is safe for them. They don't know which part is safe for you. You know, they smell you one time, you die already. Yeah, even when somehow they get crazy, you, you had even you had hook or knife, spear, you had to run away. Because we don't want to kill them, you know. Kill them, you just can't choose the easy, you know, right. But we, we would like to make sure they can live and enjoy their life and not hurt people, not break someone's house, you know. In the, we try to balance, you know, like they and then they're gonna live in, you know, not like mm -hmm. instinct. Yeah. They're gone, you know. Like like mm -hmm. that, you know that thing. The I would like to show people like that. <laughs> hey, you got you got some more, my bro. Take <laughs> hey, it. How are your hand? Oh, yeah. they have preference. Yellow banana, green banana. They don't care. It's the yeah, green one. They don't like a bitter. They like yellow more. Yeah, Sweet. Yellow, yellow, a lot protein, a lot like you know nutrient. Mm -hmm. You pay money, boy. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so the first part of their elephant tour constitutes us meeting the elephants for the first time and feeding them bananas. Uh, mm. oh, can I put it? It's okay? Mm. 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 Mm
The interaction is then ushered a level forward as the elephants are released from the barricades where you fed them bananas and come face to face with you as you begin walking with the elephants through the jungle. <laughs> For the most part, the tour involves walking and feeding elephants. About 90% of this tour consists of you hiking through the jungle with the elephants, with a small break in between to swim and eat some food, and then continue on walking and letting the elephants eat more grass. The interactions you have with the elephants are in no way forced, and they're free to play with you if they want, or attack you the way that Sierra tried to kick me off a cliff here. Okay. Bye. bye Sierra, bye. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> she wants to fight. Sierra, bye. Oh. <laughs> Her spit. Oi! Look at hot now, you know. Her take her spit and. Okay. You know, you, you feet, you feet big. You know? <laughs> Like. Non, you're never, never afraid in this position. Yeah, I trust her already. You know, it's the raise her up. Uh -huh. Yeah, I trust her a lot. Her no, you know. You know she's not gonna hurt you. No, she do slowly. You know. Mm -hmm. And then like, I understand like her instinct mm -hmm. because natural elephant when they get like worry or like they're gonna sometimes they do quick mo movement. You know, they're gonna move quick. She want me hug or under her like this, you know? Mm. I'm like, oh, you, mm, you're so cute, you're so cute. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay. Worry, you have to make good decision. Mm. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay. Worry, you have to make them come down, you know? Mm. Like come down, like you have to talk like very quiet, mm. and they do like you know. When even they get scared, they're gonna you know. Like they're gonna like like this. When her worry too much, they're gonna like cuddle her like. And they talk slowly and say, "Oh, it's, it's okay. You make their like." And you put you put your hand in her mouth. She gets comfortable. No, oh, hand is the her sucky my thumb. Mm. If the, she was young, she always sucky my thumb. You know. Mm. If anybody would ever hurt you in front of her, she would attack them, or she would yes, protect you. Yes, she worry. Yeah. 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 She do like when I make a sound, I had to make a sound. You know. Mm -hmm. Because they could hear, but they clear. The eye look not quite clear. Uh -huh. And they like when I make annoying, her gonna come quick. So if you make a noise like you're in distress, she yeah. come to save you. Yes, yes. To protect yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. And they like do like I fall over, like I make like I pay like her gonna come is quick, you know. And they like to. And how how is your relationship with her mother? You guys are yeah. also close. Yeah, close. But the mother at that time is the close close as well. But the her, because her like was born in the COVID situation, uh -huh. and then like I spent a lot of time with her, you know. Yeah. And then her sleep on my chair, and then like you know, and then I take her like I over with her and like feed their thumb her food, you know. Yeah. And then like her sucking my thumb, like her feel like I'm like the her feeling. I'm not sure like her feel. I'm like the father or like the I'm like the her baby, you know. Mm. Her want me under her. Hmm? Hmm? But when when she around me, she feeling, she feel herself as well, you know. Even like her mother walk far away, when her with me, her still not scared. Normally, the baby always with the mother, you know. 
None in the team behind the Elephant Freedom Village claim that the reason why you do so much hiking with the elephants during this tour is to help them process the copious amount of food they're intaking throughout the day. And because of the issue that in Thailand there are no more wild areas for these elephants to go to, this helps replicate as close as possible what they would naturally do in the wild foraging and processing the copious amounts of food they're intaking throughout the day. Every day with eleven. Every day with elephant. <laughs> I want to welcome you guys to Elephant Freedom Village. This is a place I've spent the last three days in. We're spending another whole day here today. And I wanted to spend a lot of time here with Non to understand the story because this video is a very touchy subject for a lot of people. Elephant tourism in Southeast Asia, especially in Thailand. Yes, now we are at the like Elephant Freedom Village. Yes, and then like the, this area I plan to create for elephant. And then beginning like this house in the Normally it's my house, you know, but I would like to like build a house and then like wake it up and and then like I, I can see elephant and let elephant walk around and when like people come here, we see they're gonna like, yes, and they like hang out there. So this is your personal house, this is where you live? Personal, yes, and then, and then but we have a few like, like homestay, like we have another house there. That's actually where we're staying, me and the crew are staying yeah. over there. And they have there because I would like people come here. They feel with the nature, you know. It feel like, like local and some some stuff like that. Can we take a look inside the house? Yeah, we can yeah. see your house. And non, what are you? Are you Thai? Oh, normally I am like current people. Current people. Nationality the Thai. We ethnicity current. Ethnicity current. Uh -huh. But we nationality Thai. You know. Mm -hmm. Normally, Thailand and like Thai. We living between Thai and Myanmar. You know. And then before we have like the war, like second warfare, and they like make like the Great Britain separate border. Before Thailand, Myanmar, we didn't have border. You know, mm -hmm. it's the make a lot of peop current people in Thailand and Myanmar. In the Myanmar, they fight. They have war, now they fight a lot. So this is your personal house? Yes, yeah, personal house. So you can see here, this is like sort of the base of the Elephant Freedom Village. Besides being your house, you guys also run tours from here, no? Yeah, yes, because the, the first we start, I borrow money. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a lot of money, but I try to create this house. It used to, you know, it's the like, I can stay on top and lower one. We have like people come and like do tour, you know. We're gonna let the information around here, you know, it's the, that thing is the, I planned. So here you have what, a gift shop where you can buy? Yes, we have like this one, like local coffee from the local, either every product from the like local village, you know, in the village, you know, the mm -hmm. local, yes. And then we had shirt and that one traditional shirt. Yeah, they have so many types. And then we have bag, traditional bag. And you can see the logo here. Yes. Even but, though none told me there's gonna be a new logo. <laughs> but new, but this one is not quite beautiful. My brother, they're planning to do it. Mm -hmm. But I let him do because let he learn a little how to work like do like the marketing or business. We are local he tribe. They just simple life. Like my parents told me do today, eat today. But do today, eat today, good thing. You don't have to be like straight mass. But mm. the bad thing sometimes, every day you have to work hard. When you are like not organized in the, your future, people will take over your resources, your culture, you know, sometimes. Finally, you have to balance. You know, this video is obviously about elephants and elephants is a big part of this video, but yeah. I've come to learn the last couple of days about the relationship between your ethnicity, yes. between Karen yes. and elephants and how yes. important that is. But maybe you can tell me a little bit more about what it, what is it like to be a Hill Tribe member, to be a Karen? What, what does that mean? It's a Karen, it's the people like before the, the immigration from the like Mongolia, like move and they like they're living with the nature. Mm -hmm. They're living in harmony with the nature, like with the animal. My family, they have they own elephant, we are number seven or generation, you know, it's the but the, finally the world develop. We use more machine, you know, people cut the road, more people left for it. We have to adapt, you know, we sell to how you still keep elephant, they need a lot of food and let them save, let them enjoy their life. And then to protect local culture as well, mm. you know, because so many people work behind the elephant keeper, you know, 
and then like they work behind the elephant keeper they, they are not high education the people who are elephant keepers what does it mean to be elephant keeper because you know i think a lot of people think maybe elephant keeper is somebody who's hitting elephants no no like that or riding elephant the keeper elephant is the meaning people take care save elephant balance the balance you know because you have to understand elephant they are like very big and huge animal you know we make sure elephants still enjoy the life they're not going to break people how destroy some family land or hurt someone they just live longer than our animal mm. it's like dog you know but keeper we be keeper like their parent you know we make sure elephant grow up it the, they can live in the, with the people and res, they respect people and then that thing we like and then we make sure every elephant they can live together because mm. elephant they have life they emo emotional you know yes elephant keeper they have to work 20 hours a day to take care of elephant you know make sure elephant get the food enough enjoy their life the more people are because it feels like elephant keeper not just keeper you know the more like the people are making elephant keeper mean like you say like they hit elephant they have hook or knife right but but normally we like the elephant keeper they have to responsibility so many things you know mm. not just elephant people I, you know the last two days i've been here three days i've been here i've come to understand it's even the word keeper it's not even correct it's almost like elephant partner like you become a partner yeah, for yes. life with the elephant you know i have to touch on something me and Non have been talking for around two years now mm. actually since the pandemic began a friend of mine tosh he came here and made this beautiful video with him and i got really inspired from it because before the pandemic, I made a documentary about the elephants in Sri Lanka and the situation that was going on there with tourism with elephants. This situation and what the current people are experiencing right now with elephants and with elephant tourism is kind of completely different. It's almost incomparable to a safari or anything like that. Elephants in this part of Thailand are pretty much extinct. You can't really find them in the wild anymore, right? Not in this part of Thailand. Yes. No, in because only like the big national park. Only big national parks in and, Thailand. Yes, in Thailand, in between Thai Myanmar, like we have foreign, but they all around like local mm. village or city. Yeah. Mm. But in this area, you're not gonna if you go in, you can, if you go trekking in the jungle here, no finding elephant. No, no. There's no elephant. Yes, and that's sort of the conversation we're in now. And and kind of why I want to ask Non all these questions is because before we show you guys the elephants. The elephants are beautiful, they're adorable, they're amazing, they're really well trained and they're happy. But you have to understand the relationship that the Karen people, that him and his family, going back to generations, have with these animals. And we're almost in a conversation now of, it's either this or it's death. It's either this or there's no elephants. And you have to, as a person who's watching this video, come up with your own conclusion of what's right and wrong. But being here for the last few days and listening to Non's story and his family's story, it's almost incomparable to any other situation in the world. We're in a dilemma where it's, it's, it's black and white in some ways, and in other ways, it's virtually impossible to distinguish what is right and what is wrong. I saw so many situations about people like elephant work. But normally in Thailand, riding is not too bad. Somehow like become business. Like local, they don't have education. They don't know how to get on or deal or contact with the big company. They always work behind. Mm -hmm. The most people own elephant in Thailand, they are local. Korean or even like locals, people in the west, or like Surin, you know, in mm -hmm. the Thailand. In Surin, right? In it's Surin. a different province. Yes. But then, I know I know that the relationship with Karen and elephant is very deep. No, most most of the people who own elephant in Thailand is Karen. Yes, before the most people own all elephant Karen. Mm -hmm. The north of Thailand. Because the north of Thailand before, Thai government work with the Great Britain. Mm -hmm. People do like industry in the north of Thailand. We see why a lot of people are dog people. People own elephant, they're from the huge tribe. Mm -hmm. And we're walking through right now, which is actually part of their tour, which I've done now three of their tours or two of their tours. It's really incredible because it's almost like you're a bystander in the elephant's day. Like right here where we're walking through right now, this is where the elephants come, they eat a bunch of plants, they shit on the ground. You know, they have a good time. But most of the time when you're on this tour, you're just kind of looking at the elephants. You can touch some of them here and there, but it's like you're kind of taking an observer's perspective, which is something I really respect and appreciate that none in his family have set up here. So I want to ask you maybe a little bit of a harder question. What is the future for Karen people and elephants? Do you know the future now? I plan organize everything already. Mm -hmm. In the future, I, I would like to create this place 
and then plant more tree and make maybe make like fence and then and then like elephant walk around we cannot make tree house mm -hmm. yeah and then people stay overnight tree house you can see elephant walk other or and then we can take normally even even i build the fence i would like to still take elephant hiking do activity i would like to change people mind a bit like they see elephant not just big anymore they are the parts in family or they are like dog you know you can let the hiking them you know mm -hmm. work hiking do some stuff with them you know like the that thing i think is good thing because it's the river is not get bigger you know but we can decide to living together it's almost like you are trying to give people even foreigner like me coming here yeah. you give us like an idea of what it's like to live with an elephant yes yes I so would like to it's talk. not just a tourist yes you don't just ride it and say goodbye yeah. you really get to experience being near the elephant a lot yes which is very amazing i think it's very different than what a lot of people experience but anyways we just kind of while we were talking now toured you through the property and i think uh we can get hands on now with some elephants when the elephants are ready we're gonna sit down with them have some conversations head on you can see sort of the tour group that's getting prepared to come here they make you guys a really traditional lunch when you come on the trip as well. Uh, in the half day tour, you're parked up here with a beautiful view of the surrounding area. But when you do the full day tour, they take you deep into the jungle over a waterfall and you get to sort of snack on some delicious local Thai food, some Karen food, some rice and eggs and chicken, mushrooms. And it's over a beautiful view throughout this whole ravine here. They've got this amazing stream and waterfall system that works through and you're able to hike with the elephants all the way through. It's uh, really, really beautiful. Here's what uh, my view for the last couple of days has looked like. It's crazy. It's a baby Asian elephant. Oh. Hello. This is Valentino? Yes. Yeah. He's so nice. Huh? Yeah, Valentino before is a we, we, we did. cheeky boy. Before we not train him, oh, he's so like naughty. So aggressive. Not aggressive, but just naughty. Like just, he would like to play with the people, but he don't know. He's strong, you know? Yeah, he's super strong. Yeah. Man, yesterday Valentino pushed me into the water. He pulled my friend Moshe into the water. He's like, you're sitting very quietly, Moshe. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me. <laughs> he's a big boy. Look at his tail swinging around. <laughs> and he's six six years old. Oh, you tail gone. <laughs> you had tail this hit with the like tree, you know. Oh wow! Snap. And here comes Non's best friend, Sierra the baby. Sierra hates me for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> she tried to kill me twice yesterday. <laughs> I'm curious to see how she responds today. You, you try, you get dirty in a second. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> it just let out a big fart. <laughs> oh my God, that smells. Oh my God. You clean Sierra like this every day? <laughs> She's dusty, man. Sierra, how'd you get so dusty? Hi, Sierra. It seems like she's tolerating my existence a little more today. Non's bond with that baby elephant with Sierra is really special. It's something we're going to explore in this video today as well. So you can see this is a tour group that just came to the end of their tour. We're back up here in this feeding area where we were earlier. You can kind of see how each caretaker kind of stays near their elephant. Helps uh, guide them through the eating process. They just kind of lay up here and eat. And it, this is like an all-day process. Elephants eat 10% of their body weight per day. And they're just always munching, always crunching, always eating food. That's what they do most of the day. When you're not interacting with them on a tour, they're just out here eating lots and lots and lots of food, like nonstop. What's the dynamic here? How, how does this work? It's the, because it's the, like, all of them somehow, like, they are big animals. Uh -huh. When you take him many, it's the, maybe you have to work more. Mm -hmm. But the one elephant, one people, it's the, like, the thing is good because we, we be elephant people, not just people, we have to make sure Elephants go no up if uh, we keep their right and wrong way. Mm -hmm. Because like when they try to hurt people, attack people, they keep uh, their own people view. Like the let them know come out, let them know like cannot do or do, you can do or cannot. And how do you get this this massive elephant to follow you? Like how do you... It, it, uh, it, it's same, you know, when we start training them at the uh, like three, uh -huh. and then it's same, you know. Ev everything you you train them, you have to have food. Some, sunflower seed or even banana chew you can the food to eat mm -hmm. you know and then when you are ready up you feed them every day you with them make you 
become relationship together. Mm -hmm. You know, they will follow you, yeah, and they like know you, and because if they yes understand you, you know, they feel comfortable next to you. Yeah. yeah. When you pet them, when you touch them, when you give them affection, a hug, they like it or yeah, they like. They, like, they like it. They like, but the. You had to, they like you had to know how to hug them, which part, you know? Mm -hmm. Because, but the, the more they are like, they're not tickle. Some of them are so tickle, you know? Mm -hmm. But beginning you had to hug them, like the often, like make their familiar, and then, you know? Just the first time is the more like difficult because somehow they don't want, you know? Because they tickle, you know? Valentino one normally arrest him up as well, but he get bigger, he like little boy, you know? Mm -hmm. Little boy, he get bigger and he. He more like fight, like more like try to like fight back with you, <laughs> because he like you are you have like your son is a girl and boy and right. he like that you know he more but he quite nice and friendly. Nice guy. Nice, but the Shanghai he's a little naughty than the the female. What about Sierra? Sierra one is the she like the very cute and lovely and then. But the, she had to learn a bit about like how to behave, uh -huh. like like respect. Because now her quite nice already. Everyone yeah. can touch her. You can pet every part of their body. Because we we let the familiar ladies. Because when they get sick, get problem, when they get a wound, you can put on medicine. Right. Easy. But in the wild, you cannot do because they so tickle like can chase. They're not used to it. You know. Yeah, you can part, you see. But in the wild, you like it, they will kick you or hurt you, attack you already. You train them. Not only for interaction with guests, no, but also veterinary care. Yes, normally the real training. Okay, <laughs> normally the, the real training. This is crazy to be sitting in this. Yes. Hey, normally the real training we train for the thing like the rest space. Second thing we let them enjoy the life. Mm -hmm. The third thing we train for the healthcare. Healthcare is important because when elephants get bigger, you imagine, you know, how much body weight there are, mm -hmm. you know, and they're like. When you're not trained, they're not due to it with you. It's difficult to treat them, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you get close to them, they're not safe already, you know. But after your part training, you visit like gym with them. You can like you don't have to use like tranquilizer. You just you chain and chain them up and put on medicine, eject them, and vaccination. You know, it's uh, you can do like that, you know. You can always access whatever yeah. part of the elephant you need to. And they, and they, they respect you as well, you know? Yeah. They can smell, they don't step on you, they know, you know? Yeah. I try to explain because I would like to people come see. We had to find away how we live with a big animal, you know? Uh -huh. That thing is the... I would like to show people, you know? I know like maybe in the field of more population. When more population, you know, when they... <laughs> <laughs> more population when, when you're not train them is the you know if they're gonna like more expressive yeah. and people become the problem later you know yeah but uh, we try to prove everything before that thing happen you know mm -hmm. because we are people we know and you talk to me a lot about about balance about yeah. finding harmony my question i'm so curious with you in your in your brain exactly how you think about these elephants you see these elephants as as people do you see them part of the Karen tribe? Do you see them like a dog? Do you see them like a pet? Like a human? Like a sibling? Mm. How how do you see this elephant in your brain? It's a bit because the elephant is a because it's the there are the parts in the the culture, mm -hmm. the parts in the like religion, and then like the parts in the life. Because the we grow up with them, you know. It's same, you know, it's the grow up with them, like your every day you with them, you saw them. You saw they grow up, you read they up. It's same like you have a dog, you know? You have like little dog and then you read they up. You love them, you know? It's same this elephant. And then by elephant, they live longer, you know? And they must be good body, strong, and they, they have emotional. When you work with them, it's more complicated than dog. Dog maybe only, you not a lot money. Elephant mm -hmm. by a lot money, and then you have to make sure they not break, people stop hurt someone out. Dog, by people, people not die. You know, one time by elephants met you, one time you die already. You know? mm -hmm. That is the difference, you know, and then I would let you people see that thing, you know. Elephant is very powerful. You have to have a lot of respect to be next to this animal, no? Yes, R respect and the food, you know. I think food is important, you know. Food make you connect with them. Mm -hmm. Food make they come down, you know. Like when you would like to play with them and like pet them, 
like when you pet them, you feed them same time and pet them, maybe they used to eat it, you know? They gonna get learn and they, they not know it much. I read the app all my life with them, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's some, like some people, either they're from like, they adopt tiger. Tiger, they are like Vietnamese, you know? They eat the bees, but the people read the app. They love their people, you know, they know, you know? You know, this same them. Because all life with them, when they watch young, I stay with them. Cuddle <laughs> lip, lit, like them, it laid on my chest sleeping. That thing is the make, you know, mm -hmm. make they feel like they are like the the past in the their family, they are in the their social, you know. Okay, so can you tell me a little bit about this animal? Oh, uh, normally like they eat like ten percent of body weight. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they like the they drink water one hundred fifty liter per day wow. for the big one, mm -hmm. you know. And they like their eye cannot see well, you know. Mm -hmm. And they but they can smell, they can read. Because normally elephant can read nature disaster. Mm -hmm. They could sense, you know, do feeling sense, conscious, you mm -hmm. know. And then that thing, but their eye look like the really like not have color, you know. Mm -hmm. Ah, they see black and white. Yes, and they like even sometimes they don't know. <laughs> they have to use their trunk to miss it. How expensive it's for you guys to raise these elephants? You have seven elephants, no? Here. Yeah. Good banana, and they like people work at like the take care as well. Right, the caretaker. Yeah, yes, caretaker. Because when only me work, oh, that's so much work. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I will die. <laughs> <laughs> I will die. And they like but the this the, we do that thing. Be, yes, because a lot of money. One elephant they eat or oh, is the nearly ten, like for just for food, you know, mm -hmm. nearly ten thousand. Baht per month is like for 10,000 baht per month for yeah, one elephant. Left food, only food. Wow. Do not include elephant people, you know. Or vet, like yeah. if they get sick. Yeah, yeah, yes. Like the, not include with the extra food as well, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. I have a hard question for you. I think a lot of people, especially international, maybe ask you this question already. Yeah, yes. I'm sure you have a good answer. What about the people that tell you it's not okay to have these elephants? Like, they should be all wild. The, do you know, because people they don't know history. Mm -hmm. When you know history, make you understand local culture. Mm -hmm. The culture make people safe foreign. The culture make people safe animal. You know, it's the that thing is important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before like I was young, every people like they like the they keep it. You know, mm -hmm. people like the they gonna cut belly cord, cord. Mm -hmm. and then like tie with the a tree. That tree becomes a belly tree, you know. Mm -hmm. That tree not allow people cut it. And then like the every year we have more foreign. Now the people like lost the culture, you know. And then they never they not mind about like culture and they destroy, mm -hmm. kill everything. They not scared about karma. They not scared anything, you know. Yeah, they always like the but the thing like the for me when you understand like history make you understand like why because we have wild and domesticate. Mm -hmm. The wild elephant in Thailand, we have like 3,200 wild mm -hmm. and then 3,000 acre domesticate. Normally, people in Thailand, they are adopt elephant, you know, it's the more than 700 years ago already. 700 years ago? Yes, because people use elephant for transportation, logging, even they train elephant become military. Mm -hmm. Why? And then, when people adopt, they put down many generations, elephant become like domesticate. Difficult they survive when you let it free. If you put him back in the jungle, it will not survive. No, no, not survive. And they're like, why would they not a person not match with the, you know, domesticated as well? Mm -hmm. Yes, they're gonna fight, you know. And then like sometimes in Thailand, we have so many fundraiser or like the donation, like some like elephant back to the foreign. Mm -hmm. But the people free their back and then people not continue to take care of elephant dash. Mm -hmm. Because they bought the domesticated one, you know, because they grow up different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They grow up by the people take care. It's same when you compare it's same dog. Right. Dogs in the, we have like dog at the foreign, we calling like the wolf, you know. Wolf, wolf yeah, wolf. wolf. And they're like, we have like the uh, at home. Mm -hmm. But the, normally the same, like same, you know, same dog look like. Yeah. So if I, if I understand what you're saying correctly. Yeah. If we take these amazing elephants and even if we have good intention mm -hmm. and we want to put them back in the wild, we say no more interaction with human beings, just be wild elephant. Even if we want to do this, they will die. They if will, they will they, not survive. Do you know the thing they will die? 
second thing population high up people mm -hmm. will do like the africa too much population not enough food enough like space or land to them and people in the africa they have choose the old one let the baby grow up mm -hmm. you have to you know even now in thailand we have like there's so many wild people are question like every year population in the wild high up but there a lot of elephants came down and destroy people house break farmer land fruit tree you know in the wild mm. and attack or kill local people you know so now there's conflict with elephant and human being yes and, and then normally when you like for me when you take like domesticate put back to the, the foreign the thing they not survive because they got eat from the people and they like the either like maybe hurt someone you know that thing that finally we decide to live living with together i think that's the most uh, the best way mm -hmm. the best because the when you're living in thailand you're gonna saw a lot of the news about elephant <laughs> came down and break destroy attack people in the you know but the more people go attack they are local they are not from the city you know they local people living around the national park you know but, uh, and so the idea is you need to find a balance moving into the future yes. how to live coexist with these elephants yes. the vision for this place you know you have a lot of land here very big yes. the idea is what create a national park create a if home the, for the elephants yeah i would like to create like the create like a home from the elephant like the like the land you know it's the because normally you create the area in the future plant so many plant b3 they have fruit even the bird or some some stuff can come eat as well mm -hmm. you know i would like to design everything like the eco-friendly living with the animal you know mm -hmm. I, i'm not like the for me i cannot let only animal living the world you know cannot let only people live in the world you know mm. finally you have to balance by the best way how we living together harmony you know survive and still let respect all their life and let them enjoy their life that's the we supposed to do and th this idea it comes from karen culture it's a it's, it, it's it, you know it's the current culture is the normally they come from the current culture they love nature but they would like to protect like as well but the but sometimes because they are not high education before they don't know how to do but i'm like even i'm i'm not high education i work with uh, so many cam in the and then you know it uh, i saw so many things and then like for me i would like to do that thing happen you know it's like vision or goal as well you know it's the because the not many and then i would like to show people show logo or like the show people let them see and then in the future when i succeed or fulfill they're gonna follow me mm. follow me and they're gonna take elephant back home and create and then they don't want I don't want two people, two elephant to the city, brought to the PP Island, everywhere, you know, into. But for me, now social make, if you can make it on the social and then people will see you on the social and they can go everywhere. And you create a culture where Karen people who have been living with elephants for hundreds of years yeah. can live with elephants again yeah living and they like the they they don't follow like the investment people i would like the local control they like they resource they control the culture you know mm -hmm. when you're like the investment like decide or create it they sometimes they like you know like they do too much propaganda mm -hmm. you know it's the too i think that thing is not right Okay, so just to add a little bit more context, a little goofy, you know, just we're going to talk about that. Uh, Nong's going to show us each elephant here and their tribe of elephants. This one, is, her name, Nong Nim? Nong Nim. Yes, normally this one is the, the first elephant I, I, you know, I start to take care. Mm -hmm. I was 15, I take care of this one. 15? When you were 15 years old? Yeah, but wow. that, that, that time it like, her now 24 already. Uh -huh. And then like the, her planet now. She's pregnant now. Yeah, yeah, she's pregnant. So there's like a baby a elephant. Already, baby. One, year one year already? Yes. One year. And the elephant is pregnant two years, no? Yeah, two years. So yeah. she's got another year to gestate this baby. But all of them is the relative. Uh-huh. Be because the lucky with the her mother is the sibling. Mm -hmm. You know, like lucky lucky is the younger brother of the her her mother. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then this one her name Lucky. Lucky. Yeah. Lucky is she like twenty, but she got three baby. She got three baby. Yes, and the first her baby, this one Dara. 
Dara? Dara is the eight year, nearly nine. Wow. But her become teenager. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her like, but her get bigger before her more naughty, like crazy more. Mm -hmm. But now it's because her become like adult a bit. Mm -hmm. And then her more relaxed. So know? now Dara is relaxed. Yeah, relaxed She's nice. Relaxed still, but crazy time, you know? Sometimes crazy. <laughs> still not over teenager, you know? Uh -huh. yeah. And then this one, and then she, She's my favorite, by the way. I really love Lucky. Lucky. Yeah. Yesterday when we were interacting, she's just so calm, yeah. relaxed, listen a lot, like really listen. Yeah. She's a beautiful elephant. I really like this elephant. Yeah. And and then that one is the Valentino. Valentino? So Valentino, he five nearly sick here. Mm -hmm. I five nearly sick and then like he like he, we just trained him like the about like last month ago. Mm-hmm. But he quite nice already, you know. He not yeah. much like they not try to hurt or attack people anymore. <laughs> yeah. And then he more quiet. Yeah. Become like more adults. Uh -huh. Before like when you're not familiar with him, he try to like cheeky, like try to hurt play with you. Mm -hmm. But he don't know how much power he ah, uh, you know, it's like he don't realize. Uh, yes, in real life. And then this one Sierra. Yeah. Sierra one is the nearly three. Maybe next year we're gonna train her. Mm -hmm. Because her no walk close to mother anymore. Mm -hmm. And then her still drink milk. Because we had to keep them, them until three years with the mom. With the mom. So Lucky, or Sierra, uh, Valentino, and Dara are yeah. all children of Lu of Lucky. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And and then like that, this the her grow very quick because mm -hmm. her father is the the big male Colasu. Oh, her Sierra's father is Colasu. Yes. So we will meet Colasu later. Yes. In He's the a evening. big tusker. He's got yeah. big tusks. Yes. In the evening, and they like, oh. Sierra is a little terrorist, yeah. <laughs> but she's so cute, man. After you train them, even you play them with them, them a bit, they not get mad easy enough mm -hmm. because they know, you know, make them more respect, train for respect. You know? mm -hmm. They feel comfortable playing. Yeah. Oof! <laughs> oh, I got slapped oh, in yeah. the face by an ear. <laughs> hey, look at him. He has little bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Just little banana. <laughs> little banana. Is Colasu the father of all of them? The father? No, no, no. All Only them, Sierra. Me because that time it uh, like Colasu still can't breed. Oh, he's too young. Young, and then like only Sierra and Dido. Mm -hmm. Dido, her her baby is well. him baby is well. Dido. I have I have another question for you. I just think of now. Yeah. In regards to what people were saying about it's okay, it's not okay to have these elephants. What what is the goal when you breed the elephants? When you when they make more babies? Uh, either the goal is that we breed because the elephant not get baby easy, you know. Mm -hmm. Normally, like into into all like about five years or maybe ten years, mm -hmm. not easy. But we breed them because some elephant get older, you know. But they they will smell because elephant they have like the male of a breed. Female, they have four time period per year. Mm -hmm. Four months, they're gonna have time. One time. And then, like, the male all of them will check. So, male, the pee and shake. When they get that season, they're gonna breed by themselves. Mm -hmm. And they do. You cannot not like people. You, you can't know? stop them. It's the, no, no, it's the when they, you stop them, they get mad. Yeah, okay. You know, they're crazy. You know, it, that's it, like the. But sometimes when you start there, you have to bring the, like, the male. Free by himself far away or mm -hmm. chain him up mm -hmm. away, you know. Cannot let them together. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Sometimes like the, either you had to, you know, and then like the, but the way you let them breathe, sometimes make them relax as well. But the elephant below all the my family, you know, mm -hmm. not just me take care. Maybe my family someone will take care as well. Mm -hmm. Like the duty, but the we just let them breathe by nature. Amazing. They do and they do by themselves. They not do is okay. It's like you know. You have food. You don't have to tell them anything. <laughs> they smell it, they're gonna run to you quick. So if I stand if I stand there with banana, they can smell it. They come. Yes. Yeah. They, but they have to smell. You know, when they not smell, they don't know. Uh huh. Even they good nose, they have to smell it. You know, they have to put the the nose higher on the air, and they are higher on, like you know, it's uh, they're gonna do. They have to do like. And you you speak to the elephants in Thai, in English, in Karen. How how you speak to them? What language? Many languages. Uh, many languages. International <laughs> elephant. <laughs> They're international, these elephants. Yes. What kind of fence you need for elephants? Like, you it's need fence, big fence? Yeah, fence, not kids. I don't like kids. Uh -huh. I, I would like to be fence. Maybe because for me, it's uh, like kids, it's uh, for the... You have to keep elephant there. Elephant not comfortable. Mm -hmm. Fence, it's uh, yeah. the big, you know. And they free sometimes, take them out. 
and then we can change it at night you know change them because why i still had to i love the change because the i would like to you like they're familiar with the change where they get wound get sick get constipation you have to change them up you have to put chains on them yeah because you cannot grab them you right. imagine they fall five times you know it's the your body so more how you not let them move mm -hmm. finally you have to change them you know but the even you put the cage you have to change them when you treat them and why you put chain and not a rope for example a rope it burns skin mm. Normally, for me, chain is better rod of a burned skin. So where, where in the body here you put a chain? You put either, either on the feet like this, feet, around here. Uh huh. Around here, yeah. Down there. Yes, and you can pat. You see, after like the family, they not when you chain they are they feel, the family or they feel this the people not attack them or hurt them. Mm -hmm. People just treat them, but somehow like because they wound is very pain, you know, very sore. Mm -hmm. Maybe they gonna move or like, but move or try to like. But they move and they can hurt you, you know. And now, like in the middle of the day, now you finish, you finish a tour now, yeah. yeah. Where, what happens with the elephants now? What, what happens? Yes, uh, they're gonna let free around, let them walk around. They walk around with the caretaker. Yeah, yeah. So the yeah. caretaker together with the elephant always. Yeah, yes, over here, like the that's we play pay for hang hang out and then. But the, sometimes like when they, maybe when the like noon, somehow like the they will change elephant up about. Like 30 or 40 minutes to go to back to have lunch or okay. do some stuff. After that, come back and they're free again. Free, they're gonna let they bring elephant to the muddy area and mm -hmm. let they, So they even even if no tourist? No, no tourist, we do. Because, everyday routine. Yes, because if when you not let the free, they get stressed, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't want to keep the same area every day, you know. Let the hiking, let the play with the moss, you know. Mm -hmm. And then they feel better. It's same me, you know. I working here every day. Make I'm stressed a lot. <laughs> and like, I feel oh, I'm I feeling like a robot. You know, mm -hmm. robot. Too many things pressure on you. I love that same, You know, mm -hmm. it's like the way I see it. You're fighting a battle for these elephants. Like, and I don't mean to speak for none. This is not none's saying. This is just what I'm concluding from this experience. But it's like there's no nature left to release these elephants into. So they have to be in captivity. And these guys have been doing this for hundreds of years. So they know how to do it. And now with the world of tourism sort of waking up to the fact that it's not, it's not really ethical to ride them anymore or to hit them. So you're doing everything right. You're doing everything relaxed. And you're trying your best to give these guys a happy life. You're actually committing your life for this elephant's happiness. Like all these caretakers, they don't really have a normal life. They can't just... None has never... You said you've never been to Bangkok before? Never that, traveling. Never the, traveling, yeah. ever. Do you know, like, I was young, when your parents give you all, like, you do things, work with our family, mm. they give a life with you. Yeah. When you're not with them, who gonna feed you all elephant food? Right. You know? When you are not laid out, who gonna let you all free? You, know? you can't have, like, a babysitter for the elephant. Yeah. You, exactly. are, you are the partner of the elephant. Yes, partner, and then every day you have to make sure your elephant... Relax him, make sure your elephant grow up. When you get you get older or die, or like the older, when you not much energy, you can let someone take care. Because take care because you have to train them. It's good, a personal like, and they like the respect people. Yeah. Yeah, because when you're not train them or they're aggressive, you cannot pass down to someone. And how you gonna do? You know, because the we work with the life is a, a lot the thing to balance. You know. This uh, this whole experience of the Karen lifestyle with these elephants, it's it's in a way just prioritizing the elephant's happiness in the world that we have available today. It's like there's there's no other option, and this is the best option for the elephants to live side by side. And somebody like Non is actively trying to figure out a way to coexist with them in their natural habitat, making it a better world for human beings and for elephants. To me, it's an amazing thing, man. Yeah. It's amazing. And I'm excited to see how we wrap up the day tonight when we put the elephants to sleep. You know, you put them into their enclosure, into the area where they go to sleep. I'm excited to see how this whole thing summarizes at the end of the day. Okay, Non, where are we now? Now we at the like the place elephants sleep. Uh -huh. yeah. And then after like we like to hang out. Uh, in the evening, we're going to bring them back here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then before we shut the up, we're going to let them drink first. Mm -hmm. You know, and then like every keeper will 
bring the food for all of them. Yeah. So this this happens around sunset time. You guys bring all the elephants here. Yes. And then they rest for how many hours before? Until like about eight thirty in the morning. Okay. Be because elephant people wake up, had to like cooking, cleaning elephant poop before all of they lay elephant food. Mm -hmm. They have to have like breakfast first, you know. And this one, you're preparing food now for Sierra. Oh. Yeah, for the, normally every keeper will bring, you know, but she for for. <laughs> Sierra. <laughs> 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 oh, you're so funny, Sierra. So she know now the end of the day. Yeah, she know. You know, and then like they never mind much about like the chain up because mm -hmm. the you know, and then we feed them they feel safe here. You know, that thing you know, even somehow when they get scared like afraid, they run back to the area. Mm -hmm. You know. So they they stay here now until the morning when the next tour comes, yeah. and then you begin the same schedule. Yeah. Okay, I wanted to ask you a, a question that I had that I was thinking about earlier. Yeah. Uh, specifically about, we were talking about earlier today, yeah. the routine of the elephant. Every day, you take them out somewhere new, explore. What was the pandemic like for you here? The COVID pandemic? COVID, it uh, had to work a lot, you know, because the, that season we can't make any money. I had to work, you know. Mm -hmm. We still pay people, but uh, not much money. And then... I have to work a lot and make so many stuff, you know, but that's cool. very hard. But w what about the elephants? Like, did some elephants, uh, they continue the same schedule, they're able to hike, they're able no, to no, food? A, yes, schedule we always do like that, you know. Uh, we lay their high, lay their free, and after that we lay their back, you know, it's them. Even if there's no tourists? Yeah, no, yes. So that's it, that's the end of the day here in the Elephant Freedom Village. I guess we talked about the chains, everybody's chained up. Ready, prepared for the night. 8 and 10 p.m. Yes. Now it's the uh, one more and add the, like the egg. At 10 p.m. we're going to feed more. Because that time a keeper had to sleep. And from 10 p.m. they also sleep a little bit or no? Yeah, the, they still not do. Ah, still no sleep? Yes. Wow. So they don't, they don't sleep. They only sleep a few hours every night. Yeah, a few hours. And see the keepers now get to take a little bit of a break, a little bit of stop. our uh, last few hours here at the Elephant Freedom Village and I, uh, I wanted to get up close and personal with the elephants for one more time to sort of talk about where this goes you know what was the reason we made this video so I wanted to talk about a few more things kind of a retrospective about this whole experience and my thoughts the way that I feel about everything that's going on here and what I've experienced and what I've witnessed for those of you who don't know who are new to the channel I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of people who are new to the channel who watch this video because I don't think there's too many content creators creating content around elephants in Southeast Asia, especially not ones that dive this deep into it. In 2019, I created a documentary about the Sri Lankan elephant. Again, we might've mentioned this in the video before, I'm not sure, but Asian elephants have a bunch of different subspecies. So 
The Sri Lankan elephant is one, the Indian elephant one, and this one, the one on mainland Southeast Asia is one of them as well. And so in Sri Lanka, I covered mostly talking about how the Sri Lankan elephant is in, in danger, in like a crucial, crucial danger from being wiped out in, uh, in the wild almost completely. With wildlife corridors in natural parks going missing and people moving into territories that were once part of elephants, it's caused a really major issue for these elephants, especially for their future. Here in Northern Thailand, in the territory of these hill tribes of the Karen people, that is already over. That chapter is done. There's no going back. There's no closing Pandora's box per se. Elephants do not have a home here anymore at all in the wild. They can't exist here anymore. And because of that, there needs to be a new way to look at this problem. The reason why I've enjoyed making this video so much is because it's challenged my opinions and my preconceived notions 110%. It has challenged every belief that I had going in. There are elephants currently chained to the, chained to the trees behind me. Tall in 2019 would be strictly against that 100%. That's not possible. Shouldn't be doing that. But learning about this place, learning about this tribe's history with elephants, and learning about the future and where they're heading and what's possible and what's not possible. This is the only solution that I can see giving them any sort of fruitful life. Anytime in life where you have to challenge your own opinions, you have to challenge your own viewpoints on things, it, make you, it makes you grow as a person. I came in here with an ideology of, I'm gonna cover this story. I'm gonna show people what it's like on the ground. I'm gonna show people how they interact with elephants. But from the same perspective, I wanna make sure that people know that my opinion is to never interact with elephants at all outside of the wild. To never even put yourself in a position where you're going to see an elephant unless you're seeing them on safari somewhere. That's sort of my privileged position that I've come through throughout the years, seeing these animals in different places. Now, that opinion has completely changed because this is a cycle. If people don't come and support the Karen tribes who are indigenous to this land and have been caretaking for these elephants, these sort of domestic breed of elephants or these habituated group of elephants for the last 700, 800 years. If people don't come, foreigners, travelers, Thai people, whoever, don't come and support these people directly, these elephants' lives are in danger. They don't have anywhere else they can go. We cannot release them into the jungle behind us, and we shouldn't. Because they live hand in hand with the Karen people, and somebody like Non, who runs this place, who runs this whole operation, who makes this thing happen, his goal is finding the balance, is finding a way for these animals to coexist with us, to build them out a home, and to provide them with the happiest life possible with what means there are possible in the world left today. Again, sometimes when you look at this from the outside, it just feels like a lose-lose game for the elephants, but somebody like Non, who has this vision of being able to buy more land around this area, expand his territory, live hand in hand with the elephants and give people a glimpse of what it's like to live alongside elephants, what you have to do, the things you can and can't do, the chaining, the hitting, the, the training, all these things that are necessary to live alongside an elephant. When you have known who's willing to take people in unfiltered, show you everything from the ground up, their entire operation, how they run things. I mean, to me, that's a net, benefit in the world and that's a net positive for these animals. I, I can't I can't see a better a better way to do it. The Elephant Freedom Village has not denied me access to any part of their operation. They have not not answered any of my questions. Every single question that I had in mind, every single thing I wanted to know, they were willing to answer and they were willing to show me. If you have any doubts or questions, I openly invite you to send them questions down below. In the, in the description, you'll find links to their Instagrams, their Facebooks, their YouTubes. Go ahead, ask them yourself. If you don't believe anything you saw in this video, if you feel like it might be propaganda, I totally understand, because I'm always skeptical with these things as well. If there's a burning question on your mind, how to justify if we didn't answer something in this video, go ahead, ask them down below. They are an open book, because their policy is, let's be honest with the people who want to know more about us, so they can understand why we have to do what we have to do. This has been an absolutely amazing experience. Anytime I get to spend time around these animals, I, I remember how grateful I am to even be in their presence, especially when we got time to spend near their tusker. Uh, it's just an animal that's slowly going extinct in this world, and I think that's absolutely amazing to be able to even stand next to it 
to be able to touch these animals, I have an immense, an immense, immense amount of respect and fear and gratitude to be able to spend any time near the, these animals. And I think that's something that anybody who comes here, you come to Thailand, if you interact with elephants in any capacity whatsoever, you need to have an immense amount of gratitude and respect for these animals. This is an animal that, who knows, in maybe three or four generations won't be around anymore for us to enjoy and to see. And uh, as their habitat keeps getting destroyed and keeps disappearing, we don't know what the future holds for these elephants. But what I do know is people like Non and this Karen tribe who are looking out for their well-being every single day, they need our support to make sure that these elephants' lives, that their happiness and their longevity is prioritized. And to me, that's a noble cause and a noble goal to get behind. So... Thank you so much to the Elephant Freedom Village for hosting me and my friends for the last few days that we've been here. It's been an amazing experience. This is a place I will definitely, definitely, definitely come back to in the future. I'd like to spend some time here without the camera and just hang out and get to know the elephants on a deeper level. And thank you so much to Mel, who's behind the scenes, who helped so much with this video happening. I wanted to give her some recognition in this video as well. And of course, the Nonja, the, the man who was in charge of this whole thing happening, who invited me out here, who, who let this thing happen. I appreciate him so much and I appreciate his effort so much and I have gained an insane amount of respect for this human being. Sacrificing his life every single day just to be around these elephants and to prioritize their happiness. There is nothing more amazing to me to see something like that. That's the end of this video, folks. Thank you so much for watching and I love you a long time. Goodbye, class.